What's up, YouTube? It's Thursday morning. Is it really? Is it really Thursday already? That's unbelievable, uh, man. Even though as much as the time went by slow, it's even though I've worked 21 days in a row, just about without one day off. It seems um. I don't even seem that long anymore. I remember back in old school days, man. It seemed like the days dragged and dragged and dragged. And only the weekend would go slow. And I guess that's the downside of life. As older you get, the faster that clock's going, 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 going. Until it's gone. Anyways, yeah, I'm at the stadium. Um, just dumped a load of sand and waiting for my next load. What's up again, YouTube? It's Don Johnson. It's noon, and um, I don't know. I might be in for some bad medical news. I don't know. I just uh, had an unnerving experience. Um, I've had uh, problems, uh, you know, moving taking a number two in the bathroom, right? A lot. I've had it for years. <clears throat> I never, I just found out since I've been with my girlfriend the last few years that it's the foods I was eating is a big contributor that I had like a gluten, um, a gluten issue or something. And I found out like milk is really bad, pizza is bad for me, and well, I've been having to take more and more medic prescribed stool softener type stuff like Linesse and then this liquid stuff and uh, the last month I've had it, pain issues after the fact you know after I done my business and just about an hour ago I took one and it was yellow and uh, which was bizarre I've never seen <laughs> I've never seen yellow uh, poop, I guess you could say. <laughs> yeah, it sounds disgusting, don't it? Talking about it like this. So, now I'm freaking out because um, Lynette don't say nothing about it can cause yellow poop. And everything that says yellow says, oh, it could be a sign of your pancreas could be a sign of salt or could be a liver disease and and now I'm freaking out for two reasons number one because I'm trying to get healthy but now it might be too late there might be too much damage I'm freaking out and number two if my doctor says I need to get checked out <clears throat> my boss ain't gonna like that even though it's not diabetes it's a new issue so I just can't freaking win and uh, so I don't know I'm freaking out I don't know what to do and I don't want to tell my boss I'm gonna have to miss a day at work and I don't want to miss a day at work because I got good checks coming in and I don't want to deplete that but if this happens again and I don't know what my one my doctor emails because uh, I uh, my doctors are feeling with that Hurley chart stuff or whatever in line and then allowed me to message them 
And uh, I know they're probably going to just say, well, I'll go to the hospital or get an appointment. We can't really say or whatever. And uh, I can't, I don't know what to do because my doctor, I mean, my boss, is going to piss them off at me again. As I said, I've been in trouble three times in the past two months for crap that was, that was not worth being in trouble for, that I shouldn't have been in trouble for. Alright, the first write-up, which was, I didn't exactly follow directions, because I did not walk on an invisible path that wasn't created yet. My uh, safety guy said, we're putting a path in here and here to get to the trucks. But because I was already going home, I was already frustrated that, you know, I I walked half of it. I just walked on an angle to get to the fence. So he gave me a five-day suspension like an hour later when I went to apologize for the attitude I had. That's the only real issue is the attitude. Sorry I keep looking out because I'm being loaded and I'm trying to make sure he doesn't want me to move backwards or forward. So, yeah. And I don't know. I don't know if it's just the revenue that Tony's hating because his truck ain't generating much revenue and stuff. What's that? What is up again? Sorry about that. I had to pause it because I was getting loaded and then I was done. Now I'm dumped out and I'm still freaking out because I don't know if this issue is serious or if it's just some weird, bizarre, one-time recurrence. Uh, I haven't got no answer yet, and I'm afraid to tell my boss because I don't want to put my job in jeopardy again because he can't handle this truck being down again. Yeah, right now. And I'm still being condemned probably for the last three things that went wrong that was beyond my control and that I should not have gotten the blame like I did. So. I don't know what I'm going to do while I'm waiting. And now I'm paranoid again, like I said. Could be dying. I'm freaking out on the inside. What it could be weak. All the worst things it could be. So. Alright, we'll get back to you. While I'm waiting to get through to my dispatcher. You know, it really sucks. The more harder I try to get healthy, the more harder I try to stay active, the more I try to do good things, the more crap keeps going wrong. When I don't try to do nothing right, I mean, I'm broke, but nothing goes wrong. But then I'm actually making an effort, I keep having more and more things go wrong. I swear, I'm paying the price for... If I get you sick, take a right on 14 Main. I don't know what. It's like the tracks going <laughs> that way. Ah, stunning. Yeah. What's going on, YouTube? It's the end of my Thursday. I'm back home, and... It's still like a hundred degrees out with the humidity and uh, my electronics had died so I didn't get to add any more cool stuff in and then on top of my electronics dying I mistakenly missed a couple concrete pieces that were put into my trailer being loaded so I thought it was all dirt. I knew I had one small piece but uh, apparently this loader snuck a whole bunch in when I was like filling out my ticket or looked away for a minute. I was trying to watch every bucket, but when it's 100 degrees out, <laughs> it's hard to stay focused on one thing when you're sweating to death and rubbing sweat from your eyes like I am now. Um, so yeah, I think I irritated Tommy, I mean, the dis dispatcher, and probably irritated his, his brother, because I'm sure the pictures went through his brother. And I mean, I, I don't know, I mean... I think the brother knows you can't catch everything they throw in a bucket. And I know they're going to say, how do you miss a four feet foot item? But obviously it had happened the moment I looked away because the pile, I think I got video, but or I don't know if I, no, I didn't have my camera running in that place. I didn't have it on. Or maybe I did. I don't know. I'll look. But um, there was no freaking concrete in the dirt he was digging from. I watched him for like five minutes grabbing and scooping and there was nothing in the scoop, it was all dirt. So I do not know where these cylinder blocks and concrete and this four foot thing on barber that was uh, dumped out with my load came from. Because I did not see him load it.
I don't know, maybe it rained from the sky. And then, before I even dumped it, the dude looked at the top of my load. He couldn't see no concrete in there in the top. Because he climbed up on his machine and looked down my trailer and he said, yeah, go ahead and dump it. It looks like dirt. He didn't see nothing. So, yeah, these are loaders. Snuck it really good in the middle, deep. and So, yeah, i got to take the heat again. And I can only guess what the brothers are thinking about me right now. Since I still think they're holding me guilty for the previous issues that I can't defend myself on. I'm not, I don't have no rights as a driver and everything everybody else says is true and everything I say is a freaking lie apparently. So, I don't know. I, uh, <laughs> I've been just with that personal issue I said earlier about the weird ball moment. I've been, um, Oh yeah, my doctor said he wants to see me, so I don't know when I'm going to see him because tomorrow's Friday. And my office closes at 1 o'clock, the doctor's, so I'm hoping I can make it to Monday because with my current issues and I can't ask to get off tomorrow morning so I can go to the doctor's. Because um, I, I can only imagine I'd be try they'd try to fire me again if I did that. And I don't want that. Well... No, I need the money too much, and I am working my butt off. Um, it's an, it's a good job, and they got the AC somewhat working in my truck, so I'm managing. So yeah, um, I guess it about does it. Sorry that everything was short, and sorry if I'm talking too quiet where you can barely hear me. And uh, <laughs> sorry, I'm I'm just it's been a uh, I've been having a lot of brain farts all day today, too. I've been in and out, zoning in and out constantly about everything. And I've been having trouble practicing my own sort of new model, I guess, which is, um, <laughs> I can't remember what I was, but I, oh yeah, stay positive, stay cool, and forgive and forget and move on. Pretty much. I know it's long. I'm still working, tweaking it, trying to make it sound a lot cooler, but it's going to take some time. Eventually, I'll get it flowing just perfectly. So, until my next video, later. Thanks for watching, subscribe if you haven't, and share.